Hello Virgo, welcome to Shared Sensions and thanks so much for being here, really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff is going to be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information from my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So for 1313 13 Monthly, um, you can join me over on Patreon. Uh, I just completed the remainder of the May readings last week, so if you guys would like to check that out, um, there's going to be a link in the description box. So the tools that I'm using here today are Universal Weight Tarot and Double Six Dominoes. So I get all my tools on Amazon for those of you who are curious. All right. So okay, what's this one here? So you guys are getting two five. You're also getting one one. Okay. So you guys could be meeting someone new. Uh, it could be an Aries or a Taurus for some. Okay. Also getting Leo and uh, Libra, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel like others of you are starting something new. You're feeling defeated in something, okay? Uh, or somebody's feeling defeated against you, all right? You're tired of fighting for something is what I'm feeling here. I think you're making a decision to go solo for some. You're tired of the conflict of a situation, all right? Others of you, I feel like you're struggling with figuring out what to give attention to, what to give energy to, how much to give to it. I think you're struggling with like measuring something here, um, with balancing something is what I'm feeling. This could involve money. It could involve money and partnerships. It, like it could involve work and family or anything of that nature here. It could involve like uh, school. It could involve anything really. For some of you, this can involve a Scorpio. This can involve balancing logic and emotion as well, okay? But there's something you're exhausted with. There's something that you're depleted with. It could be a Sagittarius. The color blue is going to be significant to you at this time, okay? But definitely really tranquil energy here That as you release something, as you let something go, okay? You're sending something off. Some of you could be kicking someone out, all right? Some of you could be moving out. I do feel for... That for some of you you're moving out of a home situation okay so you might be moving into your own home for the first time that could be something that's going on here it could involve a leo okay there could be an aries competing with you here okay i'm getting a younger fire sign A young fire sign, I should say. They don't have to be younger than you, but that's what I'm feeling here. They might even be older than you, actually. Okay? Getting Pisces here, too. Yeah, it's something with your with your living situation. This could be your sister. But it's something with your living situation here. Someone's competing with that, with the way that you live, with your lifestyle, with your money. Something like that is going on here. For some, it could even be a friend, but it's some kind of partnership, okay? Uh, yeah, somebody's definitely competing with you. I feel like that's what this energy of defeat is about. There's a lot of jealousy. There's Capricorn energy here as well, okay? Some of you are definitely meeting someone new here. It could be an earth sign, okay? Some of you might have really different ideas, really strange ideas. I would definitely trust those, okay? I would, I would trust those, all right? Trust your creativity. Trust your originality. That's what I'm getting here, okay? I'm getting Virgo energy. Okay, you guys are Virgo, just kidding. That's what I'm seeing here, though. I keep getting the same energy. That's that's what keeps that's what I keep pulling on is someone who is watching you, someone who's competing with you in some way, shape, or form. They're feeling defeated, okay? Let's see here. Heart of the matter. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, okay? So, smoke screens, confusion, illusions. 
okay distractions false mask is what i'm feeling here what's crossing you the tower scorpionic energy also aries okay uh What has above you here, Virgo? The Six of Cups, uh, Scorpionic Energy, okay? What lies below you here is the Strength card, Leo. What lies behind you? The Knight of Swords, Gemini. What lies before you? The Three of Swords, Libra, okay? Your feelings? <clears throat> The Eight of Wands, Leo. Oh no, excuse me, that's Sagittarius. I'm not sure why I said Leo. Some of you guys could be a Leo or a Sag, uh, Moon or Rising, okay? Your environment, the Judgment card, okay? Yeah. Scorpio, also Aries. Okay, so let's see here. Cups and Fears. Four of Wands. Uh, this could have something to do with the home for some. All right. It's just something to do with stability in general is what I'm feeling here. The final outcome. The sun. Leo energy. So lots of Leo showing up here. Okay. Really just two. But I thought it was more than that. Wow. And the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. There's that Virgo energy. Okay. So somebody is trying to... I feel like there was an argument or something happened here in the past. There was some kind of chaos, some kind of change. Something happened here where um, there's no longer clarity. Somebody's no longer clear about something here, okay? This could involve a friend. It could involve someone who's uh, younger than you for some, all right? Or just someone who's very childish is what I'm feeling here. But there's been an ending, all right? There's been an ending. Um... Basically, I feel like an energy of curiosity here, okay? I feel like an energy of curiosity off this um, Seven of Cups, okay? Someone doesn't know what you're up to. Someone doesn't know what you're doing since this ending occurred. Because this ending occurred, somebody's not clear about something here, okay? Some of you, someone was stealing off of you, all right? This could be energy. This could be time. It could be anything, ideas, all right? Uh, but you do have the Strength card in your, uh, what is what's lying below you here, Okay? So I do feel like there's been some kind of ending. If this is some kind of emotional confusion where you feel like maybe you don't have options, maybe someone made you feel like you don't have any friends or you don't have anybody else to go to or something of that nature could be going on here with this Seven of Cups. But I definitely feel like that's not the case, okay? They're aware of how strong you are, but maybe you're not, okay? Maybe you're not is what I'm feeling here. Six of Cups showing up is what's above you here. So I'm going to clarify this, but... I think I know what you're working. I'm actually going to leave this Ten of Pentacles out just because I like it so much. Yeah, you're working on moving forward from something here because this is Scorpionic energy and this is Scorpionic energy. This is Sun and Scorpio, okay? It's burning away that past, moving on to brighter days. I feel like you've gone off the radar from someone here, okay? Yeah, High Priestess, uh, Piscean Energy, Two of Wands, Aries, the Fool, Aquarius, and the Hermit, Virgo, okay? Yeah, I feel like you've gone off the radar from someone because you knew intuitively what their plans were with this Two of Wands, okay? Yeah, you picked up on something intuitively here. Some, somebody was up to something shady is what I'm feeling, okay? Uh, and what you're working on is walking away from that, leaving that in the past, okay? Uh, and then you've got <clears throat> the Three of Swords, excuse me, showing up as what's... Oop, I must have leave that out there. As what's lying uh, before you here. So that's the near future, all right? Tell me about this Three of Swords. Seven of Wands, see? Uh, I feel like this is someone who's come back in here for some of you. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner because I really don't feel that way. Maybe it kind of was. Maybe it was on the verge of being that. But I feel like for some of you, they're trying to confuse you. They're trying to make you reminisce on good times or something that nature could be going on here, okay? Uh, Three of Swords, I feel like you're blocking this off, okay, with this Seven of Cups, first of all. <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling here. Someone could have been born in 77, okay? But I feel like someone's blocking someone here. But I also feel that with this Three of Swords, it's an energy of focus. It's Saturn and Libra. I feel like you're cutting things out, okay? Uh, but I also feel like you're balancing your head and your heart here, okay? So you know that this person's trying to get in your head. You know that they're trying to cause you distractions. Uh, you know what they're up to here, okay? 
I feel like they don't want you to get to this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like they don't want you to get to this Four of Wands, okay? Whoever this is. I don't feel like it's a romantic connection for all of you, though. Eight of Wands showing up is how you're feeling. Yeah, you you know. You know to move away from this energy and to move fast. It's Mercury and Sagittarius, okay? Tell me about judgment in the environment here. Yeah. Judgment day is coming for whoever this is, okay? Yeah, because I feel like you're making a decision to move away from them. And look, there's that energy that they're going to be in. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, okay? And that's what you get for trying to halt someone's up. Oh, shit. The moon, Piscean energy showing up here. Yeah. Okay. There are secrets here that I feel are going to be exposed. Okay. There are intentions that are going to be exposed. They're going to be brought to light. That four of wands here uh, showing up as your hopes and fears. Um, that stability, it can also represent the home. It can also represent your vision. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, and I do feel like you're protected here with temperance showing up, Sag energy. I feel like you're protected, and I feel like you're going to have a victory within this situation. It could definitely have something to do with the home or someone that you lived with or someone you were supposed to live with, okay? Because the death card is showing up here. It's me. You are moving, okay? You're moving on to bigger and better things is what I'm feeling here, Virgo. And somebody's not happy about that. They're trying to drag you back in. It could be because of them that you're moving on to bigger and better things. I just saw 11-11 on the camera, so that might be significant to someone at this time. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. Yeah, there's a new beginning. The star card, Aquarian energy. Hope, renewal, rebirth, faith. Yep, absolutely. And it's leaving someone else disappointed. Scorpionic energy. But that's what I'm seeing here for you. And I hope that this was helpful. I would definitely watch out for this energy. But it seems like you're on top of it, okay? It seems like there might be a little bit of confusion. But you know what your goal is, okay? You know what your goal is. So I don't see you taking your eyes off of that for someone who's caused disappointment and grief in the past. So that's what I'm seeing here. I hope this was helpful and insightful. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great week.